Welcome, friends. It's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm featuring the Pink Paisley and many more paper pad. This is a 6x8 paper pad with 36 sheets of gorgeous paper. It is single sided. It's perfect for making slimline 5x7 as well as A2 cards. I'm doing a quick flip through so that you can see these gorgeous pages. I also purchased the foam phrases and accent stickers. Today I'm making a trifold slimline card and uh, I've picked out these three pages to work with. As requested by a subscriber, I am going to show you how I map my cards and I will slow the video down quite a bit so that um, you can see these techniques. I'm using a 120 pound white card base scoring at three and a half and again at seven inches and um, making a trifold card base. I place my card base in my trimmer and line up my last score line or my second score line at three and a half inches and trim. And that's going to trim off the half inch. Next, I fold at my score lines and burnish that down with my bone folder. My front panel, my middle panel, and my back panel is how I will refer to them in the video. So I place my ruler about halfway across the front to up to the middle panel. So from middle front all the way up to the middle panel and use a pencil to draw a line uh, for cutting. I place my card base in my larger tonic trimmer and place the pencil line directly on the cut line or uh, just a, a hair to the right of my cut line so that I don't have to erase it. I just cut it off and I make sure to cut to the top of the middle panel um, but not cut it off just leaving that point there. With this trimmer, uh, the slide trimmer, it tends to leave uh, a little um, minor raised edge and so I smooth that out with my bone folder. I'm going to trim three panels of this fuchsia mat to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I'm using my negative white card base as a pattern to cut out my fuchsia mat. I brought my card uh, negative down about 1 16th of an inch and then am using a pencil to draw my cut line. And um, doing the same for my middle panel, had to make sure that my negative lined up the proper direction with my card base before making that cut line for the middle panel. Here you can see that I'm checking the alignment before I actually cut my front and middle panels because I can always turn them over to the back if I made a mistake. I place my front and middle panels in the trimmer and then trim at the cut line or pencil line. I want about a quarter of an inch border around each panel. And so here I'm eyeballing it and see that I need to cut a little bit off of the bottom of my metal panel to give me that quarter inch border. So I trim that down. My back panel has already been trimmed to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So now I am trimming down my back pattern paper to three by eight. Starting with my metal pattern paper at three by eight, I am using the negative from the fuchsia cardstock for that middle panel to just um, line up and cut 
my middle pattern paper. And then I place that on my fuchsia panel and eyeball it and trim down from the bottom if uh, need be, just to get, to keep my quarter inch border. I do the same for my front panel. And uh, next I am using some picked raspberry to make a highlight oval on my front panel. While I set that aside to dry, I am going to go ahead and affix my double-sided tape to the back of all of my panels. Because my fuchsia cardstock is the same uh, color and texture on each side, I want to make sure that I have those turned in the right direction before I apply my double-sided tape. I finish applying my double-sided tape to all six panels and trim down the double-sided tape uh, at the corners if need be. And now I'm going to go ahead and release just um, a corner of each of my four pieces of double-sided tape on each panel. And uh, before pressing that down, I'm going to make sure I have it lined up and I don't uh, redo that. Um, make sure I've got it straight before I press down and then remove my remaining pieces of the release paper and adhere that down. I do the exact same for each panel. I'm going to slow this next uh, middle panel down a bit so that you can for sure see the process and uh, I do the ex do it the exact same way. I use my bone folder to burnish down my tape, especially if, if I can't um, use my nails to grip the corners to pull back the release tape. Now that all of my panels are ready, I will go ahead and use the exact same technique to mount all of my panels to my card base. And this card is turning out lovely. This card design might look a little intimidating, but is really easy to make. The pattern paper makes it even easier. Here I'm going to trim down uh, a small piece of pattern paper and apply double-sided tape and we'll mat that on fuchsia and place that small strip on the inside. I used the liquid adhesive to place that on the card panel and uh, this inside is where I will write my message. Now it's time to dress up the front panel and I'm using my foam freeze and accent stickers and I want to tie in that mustard or yellow that's on the middle panel and this little gift in the same color is perfect for that so place those two stickers on the front and I'm using a, a fuchsia star just trying to tie and use all of my elements to tie in the all of the colors that I've chosen, colors of pattern paper. My fuchsia liquid pearls was a little clogged, so I had to use a pen to get that uh, unclogged. And then I placed a blob of fuchsia liquid pearls on my card and just about cried, but I wiped that off with a 
paper towel and reapplied and it looks a lot better not the best but we're moving on with this card I was real careful to dab that off without wiping because I didn't want to spread the the uh, liquid pearls all in all this card turned out lovely I want to show you a last technique for matting I call this technique freestyle matting and this is where I place my focal panel onto a larger uncut piece of cardstock in this case the craft cardstock uh, I place it uh, so that I leave a border of about one eighth of an inch uh, so I get it as, as uh, narrow as I like and then I trim it down on the remaining two sides it just makes it easier less lining aligning for me and then you can place a, a second mat on top you can do that this works really well when using pattern paper and you have the journaling cards the small journaling cards and you just want to frame them I made this birthday card off camera and really like uh, the pattern paper designs the texture and um, actually did it made this the exact same way as the card I showed in this video and here's the inside I've added uh, some coordinating uh, pattern paper and a little birthday cake and then I will write my message on the inside now let's take a closer look at the card I made in this video lovely thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you were inspired and like this video if so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if not already subscribed until next time good day friends